G'day ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me once again. Today, this is a special episode, this is a celebration video. I've got my Replica World Cup of Darts shirt on, and today we are reviewing Damon Hetter, the Heat Darts, and as a special bonus, it is a two for one. We've got both sets of darts to review today, so really looking forward to that. Congratulations to the Aussie boys, this will be a part one of a part two series. We do have the Simon Whitlocks coming up after this video, keep an eye out for that. Obviously huge props to Damon Hedder, who's been doing such a great job on tour lately. A uh, couple, of, couple of floor victories, a great run at the UK Open. Obviously a World Cup winner now for Australia for the first time, excellent effort. Uh, fantastic bloke. Please don't forget what he did for Kyle Anderson's family after his sad passing. Went above and beyond like a true Aussie does. Raised a lot of money and helped, that, helped them out a lot. Congratulations, a champion effort for a champion bloke. Let's get a look at these darts and get them on the board. So here we go, double Damon. Let's tuck into these darts. We'll open the uh, black first and have a look. Obviously it comes in your old fashioned old plastic case. I used to have one of these when I was 12. Pop the darts out and have a look. So here we have it, the Black Harrow's darts. They do look lovely with the silver cuts in them. Really nice looking dart. So we start off with the smooth nose cone, which is very nice. I like the smooth nose cones. Uh, the Sort of ring cuts here, they're sort of in the shape of little scallops. I think they're the, I think that's the grip on the Wolfram, one of the Wolfram darts. I'm not sure, if anyone wants to let me know in the comments, please feel free. And just a couple of wider sort of ring cuts there, and finishes off with a square ring cut along the rear of the barrel and the Harrow's logo on the rear. So, very nice looking dart. Let's have a look at the natural now. Just put them side by side and have a close up look. There is just something about natural tungsten that looks so nice. Exact same dimensions, uh, exact same profile as mentioned before, but something about just a natural tungsten dart just looks so delightful. So, two really good looking darts right there. The darts, of course, are a torpedo design that's right up my alley. Uh, the black titanium coating and the natural tungsten. The darts also come standard with the Alamo shafts, which is your polycarbonate aluminium combination shafts. And we do get a set of the signature Damon header flights which they look rather nice. Nice colour combination, really suits the darts. Uh, quickly run through stats and dimensions on the darts. These are a 90% tungsten barrel, 23 grams, 7.1 millimetres width and 50 millimetres long. First off, let's just have a look at the match waiting for the Damon Hedder darts. And just speeding through this now, amazingly, absolutely amazingly, every single dart came out at a perfect 23 grams even. Absolutely fantastic from Harrow's. Here we go now to the board, shooting at the bull, and another woeful effort, a bit of frustration early there. Dart connect app will have the board. And while we're waiting just to shoot, we'll go through the setup I had on these, uh, the silver tungsten Harrow's Damon headed darts. I had the short green vector stems, yellow number six target flights, and actually put on the shot arrowhead 38mm points, which were really good, really stuck in the board excellently. I was really impressed with those points. 
wasn't the ideal setup. I'd really rather have a maybe an intermediate stem and maybe a number six flight just for a little bit more stability through the air. They did seem a little bit floaty uh, traveling through the air, but at the moment the darts are going perfectly straight, which is very promising. And an awful bounce out there. We didn't need that at this stage of the game with Dart Connect app. A long way in front early. Needs to hit back here with a big score, get back in the game. A couple of nice 20s and a treble 20 to finish it off, 100. And the darts were sitting up in the board quite nice too with my uh, throw. I do like the, the darts to sit up a bit and really invite that uh, next dart to come in. So, yeah, really happy with these darts so far. And he just pushes one into the five. So 156 left, a massive task, but is he up to the challenge today? No. No. Where's he going? To the 18th segment, as you should. Some nice darts all around. Dart Connect app is on 40. Will he get another shot? He will. Can you do anything about it? A horrible, horrible miss there. Rookie mistakes all round. Leaves himself 32 for the next shot, but I do not think he will be returning. Dart Connect app will easily take it out. And don't just a little practice before the next game. Yes, of course you know it, then you're full. Now on to the Black Arrows darts. Not the ideal start, not the ideal start at all. Can he save this? And he has, he's landed one in the treble 20 after a useless couple of fives. Needs to win one game, you'd think. Dart Connect starting strong again with an 81. Same flight path, not much difference between the two barrels. The, maybe you get a little bit more fuel on the fingers with the black coated darts, but dart, these darts are exactly the same. There is no deviation in performance amongst either. Both flying incredibly straight, just a little bit floaty with the setups on it. But nevertheless, an excellent set of darts. And a lovely 140 there from the big dog. Really pushing the limits here at the moment. Still haven't got that elusive 180 on the throwing part of the video for you to enjoy, but I bet you it's hopefully somewhere around the corner. 54 there, hardly an ideal setup shot. 177 left, at least six darts away there, the big dog, you'd be upset about that. Dart Connect back, hitting back now with 121. Want to make this worth it, I don't know, that's... Ooh, not ideal. Thirty-four peg, not the easiest. What can he do? Going the 18 route. He's going to stay there. No, it goes across to the twenties. Oh, and a loose, loose dart. Don't like to see that. Fifty-one remains. Can't connect back. Back on two o four. Can he clean this up? Nice and quick. For the people at home, pressure's on. Gone the 19. And a pop, pop finish. Lovely job. Results go one ball in the second game. So we'll just pause the video here. 
couple of really good games. Overall average is 71. You know, probably a little bit lazy on the first leg. Probably should have won both legs, but uh, really happy with the performance there and the Harrows Damien had a dart. Right, guys, time for my final thoughts on the Damon Hetta signature darts from Harrow's. And we're going to start off with what I particularly liked about the darts. For one, the darts are just an extremely simple design, uh, fantastic weight distribution. The natural tungsten darts are just a delight to the eye. I do like black coated darts to an extent, but I can just not get over how good a natural set of tungsten darts look. Harrow's done extremely well with the quality as well. All darts coming out at 23 grams even. It's a fantastic effort. They are a simple barrel design. There's not too much machining going on. Just with the simple ring grip and the Wolfram grip out the front. Not much can go wrong and it hasn't. The only thing I particularly didn't like about the Damon Headed darts was just the black darts and the coating on them. Did look slightly cheap to me. Um, I have another set of Harrow darts waiting to be reviewed at the moment and even the coating on them is far superior than the coating on the black darts. Perhaps uh, Harrow will work on that, maybe use a bit better coating on the next batch of black darts. All right, for starters, the grip level. I give the grip on these darts a four and a half out of 10. A uh, lovely little subtle grip, probably just a point, point and a half below what I would really like. I'd probably look towards more of a five and a half, six for my optimum dart, but uh, I think four and a half is a, a fair grip level for these darts. The design of the dart, I decided to give just a, a nice modest six. I said a very simple design, not much has gone wrong there. It's just very simple, but there's a lot of elegance in simplicity, trust me. Quality. The quality from Harrow's in this start is abundant. 23 grams across the board match weighting is a fantastic effort. You get the Alamo stems and you get the uh, Arrows, Damien Head of Flights, and Harrow's are known for making a great set of flights. The Alamo stems, the barrels, the points, everything on these darts is high quality. I give the quality a 10 out of 10. Performance of these darts. Now, in the throwing part, I obviously use the yellow and the green stems just for the colour coordination with the green and gold for the Australian national colours. It probably wasn't the ideal setup for these darts. I didn't have a longer set of stems in the green, so I had to go with the short, so that I did uh, lose a bit of stability through the air, but you've seen the results of the throwing part. I was pretty happy with the results regardless. You know, a nice couple of averages there for me, personally. So, from my... Optimum performance, I would go with a longer stem and maybe just the, the standard number two flights, just for a little bit more stability through the air. But the performance was still great on these. Uh, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10 for performance, sorry. Value of these darts. These darts are actually terrific value for what they are. Simple barrel design, great set of stems come with it, great set of flights come with it. Uh, match weighting was perfect. $75 Australian for these darts. If you're in Australia, consider picking up a set of these. These are just too good a value not to have. You'll be supporting your Aussie players overseas. So if you're looking for a new set of darts, consider the Damon Header darts from Harrow's. So that leaves my final rating. I give the Damon Header signature darts from Harrow's an 8.5 out of 10. Damon Hedder doing fantastic things overseas. He's going to be around for a long time, I can tell. Natural talent. I hope he really does well back in Australia now. Uh, this is the Saturday of the Townsville Darts. I'm recording this. Unfortunately, couldn't get over Gerwin Price last night, but I think there is a run either in Wollongong or New Zealand for him. So, guys, thanks again for watching. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. And let me know in the comments if you've used the Damon Header darts or if you want to see me do another set of darts in the future, suggest your ideas. I'm open to all. I love interacting with all of you. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm knocking off.